Well, the first thing a company should do is understand as precisely as possible where on the network and when on the network there will be these extra numbers of people going to and from the Olympic events. Not everywhere will be busy, but some places will be very busy. So the first thing is to understand where those places will be and when they will be busy. And the second thing they then need to do is plan ahead so that their staff can avoid being in those places at those times as far as possible, consistent with the operation of their business. So could the staff work from home? Could they arrive early or arrive late? Could they work from a different location? Could they travel from a slightly different station, for example, walking 10 minutes and, and getting on at a different station than the one they normally get on at? There are a whole variety of things people can do with their employer's help, but the employer has to make sure that those plans are in place so that when the staff turn around and say, can I work from home, the employer can say, yes, we have enough capacity on our broadband, feel free on those two days when it's going to be very busy near the office um, and, and we can deal with your problems in that way. So how is TfL helping companies to prepare for all of this? Well, the first thing we're doing is providing a lot of information on our website about the places and times when both public transport and the road network will be particularly busy, for example, due to uh, road events in the case of the road network. The second thing we're doing is providing uh, some direct advice to major employees of more than 200 staff uh, so they can plan for the games in, in quite a lot of detail. And the third thing we're doing for uh, smaller companies, SMEs, is providing a series of workshops, um, case studies, fact sheets, uh, templates for uh, employment plan, for example, so that they can, they can provide plans that suit their particular requirements at particular times. And there's a lot of information on the TfL website where all of this stuff is, is available for downloading, whether it's in terms of uh, congestion information or, or help and advice for how you can plan for the games.